So I teach user experience, and also I'm here on the Squamish, Silvatuff, and Musqueam Nations folks. I'm here to talk to you about user experience. What is user experience? Well, Jennifer Aldrich explains this to her daughter. She said, well, you might have a user, and remembering that the joke is, is that only internet and drug dealers refer to the customers as users. But anyway, it's not the best <laughs> term, but we try and sometimes use participant, but here you go. So you've got a user and you have a product and that product has a user interface. In this case for a bike, it's uh, handlebars, a seat um, and pedals. And then the user experience is the sum total of that uh, rider on that product or that user on that product. That product, a user, plus the user interface adds up into what we refer to as user experience. Why this is important is, is because we say that user experience is that total experience a given product or service creates for the people who use it in the real world. And also, you know, who cares? Well, you can get a lot better aspects for your particular service or website or whatever you're trying to do in an online or even an offline um, situation. Better uh, adoption, better usage and higher satisfaction. You'll get less failed projects. You'll get less support calls, less errors and less frustration. And let's face it, we're seeing a lot of frustration and for a lot of people, even in the grocery store. So anything that you can do to improve a user experience is probably valuable, especially in these days. So good UX, good UX, we say is holistic because it again, it considers that whole experience. It's also dependent on the context of use. And what we mean by context, maybe it's morning or night that they're using your particular aspect, desktop or mobile, uh, stressed out or calm. This context is very, really relevant. And then we say we like it to be useful usable and compelling. And then for me, I also feel, and why not? Make it delightful. Uh, bad UX, well, of course that does the opposite. It's not useful, it's not compelling, and there's just literally no joy. And one of the things that I just wanna make clear is there's a lot of common misconceptions about UX. UX is really all of the things that are listed here. They're not individually usability. A lot of times you hear UX and UI, but user experience is all of those things. Now, if there's one thing that I want you to take away from today and to apply if you're a comms person or a marketing is how you can use this process to make your products better. Well, the first thing is, is that you need to ask. You need to understand your audience and ask them what they need. And this is often combined with business goals. And then once you've got that user research, which is such a fundamental part, you want to analyze what they've said and see if there's things that you can do to make the experience better. I mean, that seems like a great goal for the work that we do as not for profit folks, but also even to make it better in terms of making it more joyful or, or interesting to use. And then the key piece of this, and this is also a lot like design thinking as well, prototyping, making examples of what you're talking about and trying it out with your audience, which is that last piece, which is validating it with your audience. This cycle of, you know, understanding, analyzing, prototyping, and validating is really the key part that I want you to take away uh, from today. One of the most important things is that if you remember this, nothing about us without us, user experience can really help you bring all of these things together. And of course, this is just such a, such a brief intro. There's a ton of information, but even if you just Google user experience, you're going to find a number of different aspects that are applicable to what you do. And finally, if you need somebody to look at your site or do a user experience consultation to make what you're doing better, please get in touch. Um, you can find me at jai at agentic.ca. Thank you.